What up, this is your boy T Mizzle coming back again with another video. And today I'm going to share some of my Guild Clash attacks this weekend with you guys. Um, I know that some of my Guild members are struggling with attacks, and uh, actually, I don't know if they just sent a bad. Uh, you know how everyone hits that bad spell where you just your tax just not where you want them to be, um, or maybe uh, some some of you guys out there you just need uh, some ideas on uh, other ways to attack in Guild Clash and even Lords League. So I'm going to be using the spam method here today, and I'll show you my uh, my technique here in Guild Clash what I've been using the last few weeks and it's been working pretty good for me okay you may want to try it and see if it works for you um, nothing new nothing has been reinvent you know nothing has been invented by me of course but uh, just simply uh, the strategy I've been using and quite a few people out there use it pretty much a spam strategy okay but I'm gonna show you the heroes I'm using and who and how I'm doing it okay so let's go to my battle log here and pick a couple of uh, my attacks let's see which one let's pick this one this one looks pretty awesome um, 3400 points we gotta look at that one so what I do is drop the uh, great sage down here in the bottom or depending on uh, the base I depend on where I'm gonna drop and then the rest of my heroes I drop them up top okay let me zoom in a little bit and basically, um, as you can see, I have Saf, who I use for spam like crazy, Ambrosia, Abyss, and I think I'm using Panda and then Great Sage, okay? Um, and basically, um, the, the trick here is you use Sage down the bottom, or you can use Landslide, you can use Panda, whoever you decide to use as your distraction, place them in one of the one side of the base pull the all the heroes over to that particular hero and then you drop the heroes on the opposite side of the base and you just go ham on the spam action okay um, that way is it's a quick way to get easy points on the base matter of fact you want to use this technique if the base is too strong for you to handle always use the spam method use the distraction method drop a hero on one side you can even go all four corners of the base whatever you have to do to spread those heroes out away from your spam heroes that's what you want to do to get as many points as you possibly can okay it just so happens that this attack worked out very well for me um, the spam action not only worked but I did I almost actually uh, one shot this guy got 3400 points on my first attack um, and when this attack is done it'll be very few uh, defenses left standing um, the stronghold is going to be there I mean excuse yeah his uh, town hall will be still standing but very few defenses will be left when I'm done with this attack okay so I just wanted to share that with you um, of course with the latest updates um, we now can take our skills on heroes to 25 I have not upgraded one hero yet to level 21 or higher so all my heroes are still level 20 out of 25 and I have a lot to do to get those guys leveled up I do have one question though why IGG why did you raise the limit on hero skills if anyone out there knows let me know because I have no clue what that was all about look how many rings is gonna take us to max these heroes out all over again in my opinion okay in my opinion it's kind of insane but maybe maybe they're gonna bring more content into the game so it's kind of uh, getting us prepped for what's to come which in that case I won't mind okay of course we are we are getting the one new uh, um, guild boss which is fine you know we'll be able to do that and that's gonna be pretty cool maybe we need him for that maybe we need the extra um, for that and that's cool you know of course the guild boss points should go up now with the increased skills it's gonna take quite a few weeks for me to get those guys leveled up but nevertheless I feel in another year so I have them all level 25 but anyway uh, this attack is pretty much all over like I told you when it when it's over it's gonna be very few items left on that base and there you go abyss demon and south did most of the work on that attack okay we're gonna show you another attack kind of the same method um, and I'll let you guys see how that worked out let's use one I went did to doubt you know we'll do that one next I had another one here let's take a look at this one here it's another good attack let's zoom in there for you you know we're even can you even see my hero okay I drop there you go drop great sage in the bottom again and let's speed it up for you put it on 2x there and no let's put it on 4 so to make it even faster 
I went with a four corner method on this one okay so I want to show you this method because you don't have to go all on one side you can put them all four corners and again it's all about getting as many points as you can and the reason it works is because the defensive heroes can't attack everywhere so they're going to focus on one particular side and then that opposite side can get as many you know you just do massive damage and that's what happened right here okay so here we are on four speed um as you can see i almost wiped this base completely out guys uh, with that spam attack you want to definitely use the spam method whenever the hit the base is too strong for you okay if you're just trying to work on different techniques try this method out here we go again a bit demon doing a massive damage this time panda did it um and of course your boy great sage got in there as well okay let's take a look at one more attack uh kind of the same thing and this one will be from a uh, today's battle and this is this is not um actually i changed it up i think i think i went with did I go with landslide? Yep, I put landslide in on this one because this guy was a little bit stronger, and I needed uh, lance. I needed him to last a little longer, so I dropped landslide on this guy. Same technique. I'm gonna wait until I pull a couple more heroes down here, and then I'll drop. Okay. Okay. Now, see all the heroes are going down toward landslide. Now, bam! Drop my heroes up top, and before they have a chance to get back up, I'll clear at least half of this side of the base, which again gives you significant amount of points nothing but spam action guys a uh, very very effective way to attack in guild clash and lord's league when you know you're not going to be able to wipe the base out or you know you can't take on the heroes head to head okay and that's really what this video was for today um i felt you know looking at some of the attacks and the points in my guild clash today with my guys i figured you know maybe i need to post a video again just to remind people you don't have to try to take that uh, head up dropping all your heroes in one spot, you know spread those heroes out, you know, let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit And look at the base look how much is left of the base when I'm done here, you know, of course, this is 1200 points um, But <laughs> nevertheless guys very very strong attack Really almost wiped them out. Did I finish it? Holy smoke. I finished it. Okay. So yeah, I finished this so this was I finished it. I wish I would have had this in real time. Oh my goodness. It's a lot better in real real time, guys. I apologize. But anyway, that's that was it. That's kind of what this video was designed for today. Um uh, I wish I could show you some real action here, but I really don't have anything. Let's see. Been messing around in training grounds. Guys, use training grounds to practice. Um, I urge you to take advantage of that. That's one of the best things they could have did to the game. It's add training grounds, allow us to practice. Matter of fact, let's do one attack in training grounds, and we'll go against. Um, you know who? I, Wings Rule has been working on his base and trying different things. Let's attack him. Okay. Oh, wrong thing. We're gonna use the spam method. Wings, I'm gonna go against Wings here in training grounds. See if I can. Zoom in. I want you to see the full attack here. All right. So Wings base, of course, you guys know Wings. He has pretty strong heroes, so we got to be very careful on this attack. So I'm going to attack on the Great Sage side. Okay. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and pop this um, Great Sage up here, and immediately I pulled all the heroes. So I'm going to go ahead and immediately use his uh, Divine get my rage built up then I'm gonna use that and spam he's about to die so I want to pump that and this is the method I'm using guys speed that up a little bit by the time they come back over I'll have half the base gone which works great because wings has strong heroes and I don't really want to go against them straight up And that's how you do it. That's how you use the spam action, guys. Just, just beautiful, beautiful method, man. Just a straight up beautiful method. And I, I love it. And that's it, man. That's that's how you do it. So there you have it. The spam method brought to you by T Mizzle. Nothing new again. Just been doing what everybody else has been doing all this time. Um, teach this to your guild mates. Uh, that are struggling to get points in Guild Clash, and of course, you guys can do a lot better. Um, shout out to my meme 
Gill, Two Worlds, and of course Two Worlds 2. Uh, both Gills doing great. Um, we ranked what 43 in Battle World Battle Royale this week. Um, our Gill rank has increased. We, our power has increased. You know, just shout out to everyone that stuck with me since day one. All the people, the players, the members that have been hanging with T Mizzle and just kind of being by, you know, being by my side and hanging in the gear with me, and all those new members that have joined to help help me out. Um, again, it's all about helping players become stronger, uh, helping me become better, and and that's what we're all about here, man. It's all about that. So thanks to everybody for helping out. Thanks to you guys for watching. Again, this is your boy T Mizzle, and I'm out. Peace.